Except for the blue crystal here. Ah, it's his companion. Why the hell's a level 47 on this planet? Unless he did what I did and just way over leveled. I guess that could be possible. Who knows? Or maybe he's helping out a friend or something. Or go member. <laughs> Step forward. I assume you've completed my task. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. I couldn't agree more. The holocron. It glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the academy. And only one of the overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. What's your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood. And uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision, however. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. Fuck you, asshole. By the way, dickhead, the first Sith was a human, dumbass. Junta Paul, yeah, you know, his tomb's down there, was a human, taught you Sith how to use the Force and all that. If it weren't for him, you would have just been some primitive piece of shit species that would have never gotten off this planet. Fucking dickhead. I just kind of want to strike that asshole down right now. I know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. It's all here. The comlink, my lightsaber, everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I... Once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? May you be okay? Hmm. Don't worry about me. If you're certain, I still don't understand why you're doing this. But I thank you. And now I can be a douche and go along with that old hag's plan, or be uh, me and just tell them what's going on. It's a trap. Your memories have been altered. When you report to the Jedi, you'll tell them exactly what the Sith want you to. What? Then that explains why you would help me out, at least, but not why you would tell me the truth. It isn't important now, but I will speak to my masters of this. For the moment, I should go. I'm, I'm sorry the Empire took you in instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. Uh, I already been part of the Order, buddy, and I'm a master. I'm already endgame geared on my Jedi's. It's time for the Empire to have its time. But I'll alter it for the good. For the good of the Empire. Yes. Yes, remarkable. Magnificent. You, you slave. Wait. No. Acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? Yes, my lord. I found the holocron. Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb. The Sith lords passing it by. And then, the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me, how did you manage it? I shot lightning at it and it opened. Such a simple solution. Why did none of us think of that? We must have thought too deeply on it, believed too strongly that it could not be done. Or perhaps we were simply not meant to open it. Your work so far in bringing back this holocron and now the text from Tulak Horde's tomb has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. I hope I live up to them. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. Hmm. At least she's really nice. Oh my 
fucking Mr. Dickhead over here. I was just about to send Fawn off. What delayed you, slave? Well, first Lord Zash stopped me to tell me how amazing I am, and then we got talking, and I suppose I lost track of time. Just like a slave to make up stories. Lord Zash would crush you like a gizka if you ever crossed her path. You're not worthy of her presence. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? Just take it already. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. That's hardly your call. Do not press your luck, slave. I could just let Fon tear you to pieces. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. Eh, I could take you and Fawn on together and fucking beat you guys to a bloody pulp, you little douche. So I fucking Fawn is hard on fucking instructor there. So the Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. Not Our really. business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. My duty is my life. As it should be. Take these tokens as payment for your service, and know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. Oh, good luck in that. I kind of fucked up Rupan. I'll turn the Empire into a Repub- er, into the New Republic. Justice is gonna be served instead of this fucking crud bullshit. Ah, Approach. I've heard rumors of your exploits in the tombs. You follow in the footsteps of failed apprentices. Ones sent to slay renegades and crack the shells of armored droids. You fared better. I crushed my enemies underfoot. No doubt it was satisfying. The mining droids not only protected the slaves who subverted their program, but threatened to damage the tombs of the ancients. That would have been unforgivable. And for succeeding where others died, you will be rewarded. Ooh. How generous. Alright, need to go all the whole way over there. Fun. Hello there, friend. You remember my brother and me from downstairs? We've Harkon, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. <laughs> I might like it. What's going on? This isn't starting out well. Now, now. You really don't know whether I like this or not. I'm sorry, man. I liked you. I really did. Oh, there. Well, Harkon made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. Come on, do we have to do this? I thought we were friends. We don't want to, but we know we can't beat Fon, and we'll never...